Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making fresh roasted green beans, parmesan and garlic to be exact, and those red pepper flakes just set it off. So let's get right into this recipe. All right, we're starting with some fresh green beans here. They have been washed and dried. And now you wanna just go ahead and snap off those ends. You can line them up and cut them just like that. Pretty quick that way. You know, my knife is so dull, gosh. Keep saying we're gonna sharpen it. I don't know you guys, I'm struggling. Or you can do like grandma used to do and just snap those ends off by hand, just like that. I feel like I should be humming while I do this. Every time I snap green beans, I feel like I need to sing like an old Negro spiritual just to reconnect myself. All right, anyway, just go ahead and throw those beans in a bowl, add in some of that fresh garlic. Yes, ma'am. And then you want to, oh, and don't forget, like always, the recipe is on the blog. Always go there and pick it up, print it out. You know, it's there for you guys, okay? Now I'm gonna just drizzle on some of this olive oil, okay? And now I'm gonna sprinkle on some salt. Not too much salt because we're gonna add that Parmesan cheese at the end, okay? All right, now I have lined my baking pan with some nonstick paper, place the green beans on there, and then just kind of spread them out into a single layer. I have my oven already preheated to 425, so I'm just gonna pop those bad boys in there, and then halfway through, I'm going to give them a toss. I think I cooked them for about 14 minutes or so, and they come out looking like this. They're nice and tender, but yet still crisp. You wanna make sure you serve them immediately because they kinda get soft as they sit, and they're not as good to me, I don't know why. I like that nice crisp to them. All right, so serve them immediately. Go ahead and hit them with some of that Parmesan cheese. I also added on some red pepper flakes and it added such a nice little zing to them. This, this um, side dish goes really great with that man pleasing meatloaf that I made. And I'm also gonna make this with some Cornish hen. I know it's gonna be the bomb. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and you can get it at divaskincook.com. Bye.